Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are still in Tokyo and we have some really exciting things happening. Okay, so we are about to go to Ginza. Um, I actually haven't been to Ginza for a long long time so it will be nice. The weather is so bad right now, like it's literally so bad but I don't think it's going to be too cold. Maybe I'm being a bit too optimistic but I don't think it's going to be too cold. So let's go, we're going to take the metro. To be honest, I was actually contemplating whether to vlog today or not because my skin is honestly so bad. I don't know what it is because when I first arrived in Japan, it was okay. But since like these past few days, I think it's because I'm eating too much sugar. I think that's what it is. But like, oh my God, like, <sighs> makes me so sad. Actually, this is the current weather situation. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's kind of raining. Um, they do actually give you umbrellas in the hotel, which I think is such a cute little touch. However, we're still going to take the taxi. So today I'm wearing my Fashion Nova jacket, the one that I said that I wasn't too short on. I don't know, it's kind of cute, but it has got silver, but I'm putting it with gold accessories. Also wearing the same Fashion Nova jeans that I've been wearing like three days now, but I love them. At a shopping mall, and we're actually going to go to this art museum. No, it's an art aquarium museum, just because it's raining so bad, so we're going to go take a look. because I don't know why I didn't do any speaking uh, but yeah it was really really cute it was very like relaxing vibes um, I don't think you guys can hear me can you honestly the weather for this trip has not been the vibe literally one little bit it's raining a lot a lot but we're just gonna go find somewhere to eat because of course Kay needs to eat because we didn't eat for three hours so we're gonna go find um, a yakitori restaurant because it's actually the last, um, like the last type of food that he needs to try. So we are just in um, a traditional yakitori restaurant. We've ordered some skewers. I've ordered mostly chicken, chicken and pepper skewer, just stuff like that. Kia's ordered. Chicken meatballs. Same as me. Copies when we go to restaurants. Copies me. Um, but yeah, we are hungry. I'm tired and hungry. Are the meatballs that we were telling you about the vegetables? And this is bacon and asparagus. And this is mushroom and chicken. Mmm. Oh. That's really good. The other thing that we ordered is like. Um, Bamboo shoots with some rice. It's a very interesting uh, type of food. Mmm, i rice. We are finished in the restaurant and of course we're going to get something sweet. Um, I found this place on TikTok, of course. Oh my god, it's the place with the huge queue outside. Also, of course. And we're just gonna get some. Oh my god, the queue is so big. But everything looks so pretty. I don't really want mochi with red bean though. So cute. Okay, so to try and solve the tiredness, of course, we have come to Starbucks and I've got my signature white mocha. I also have such a sweet tooth at the moment. Um, and I've got some cheesecake. We're basically looking for this place, this canal place. Canal? Canal place. And we've already been there, but we've already been there and it was super far and we thought that we were going to the correct one. Honestly, I don't know. I actually don't know what's wrong with us. We just, we're, we're obsessed with sweet stuff. So I actually have the Canon and 
the G7X or my coffee and it's honestly so good like we literally just took pictures 10 minutes ago and you can literally just connect it up to your phone on the app and then you download them like it's not like you have to plug it into a laptop or anything you literally get them in two minutes so i'm just gonna have a look at my little pictures that i took i'm really confused for my instagram aesthetic though like i don't really know what i want to go for like i don't know i'm a bit lost with instagram <sighs> We just um, took the metro and we're just arriving back at our hotel and we're going to chill for 40 minutes and then we're back out of the house again. Today we, we did actually plan quite a lot today. We are off out again. Now we are going to like, um, like a mu moon. We're going to the moon. We're going to uh, a museum type of thing. It's not really a museum but it's like a... It's like an interactive, I don't even know what this thing is called to be honest. So we have just arrived at Team Lab Planets. Honestly, I literally love this place. Ew, it smells like experience yet but it, without being negative it definitely was better when I was younger but I guess that makes sense but yeah when I came when I was like I think I was like 12 last time I came and it was like the best thing in the whole world now I'm thinking okay it's fun yeah it's nice it's a nice thing to do but they're crouching Kanye has decided he is the tour guy. Go! So we have arrived at Tokyo Tower. It's actually smaller than I expected. I've never been here before. I've been to all of the other viewpoints, but not this one. I just love everything at the moment though because it's cherry blossom. So guys, we have finished at Tokyo Tower. Um, we are now going home because we need to get ready for dinner. So we just got back to the hotel and because of the rain, we're having to leave all of our clothes here to dry. But we're just having a nice civilized green tea in our little dining area. Honestly, I love this hotel so much. Hello guys, so I am ready. Um, this, always when I have like artificial light, it makes me look so pale. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm ready. I am actually wearing my new vintage Chanel necklace. I couldn't wait to show you guys. She is so beautiful. Although the quality is not amazing, I actually know after buying it. But yeah, she's stunning. Eyelashes are falling out. Skin is looking 
awful like genuinely i did not want to vlog because i'm so feeling so rubbish about my skin like but whatever you know yo i'm in japan i can't be getting myself down about this type of, these type of things um yeah so we're going to an omakase restaurant tonight i've actually been wanting to try one of these types of restaurants for i actually haven't been to any of them before um omakase is like i don't know the actual definition but it's when the chef basically chooses what he wants you to eat it's like a very intimate dining experience so i'm very excited i'm gonna be cold but so we have arrived it literally looks like someone's house it's so cute <laughs> Tuna? Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. It's like eggy bread. Yeah. Finished now at the restaurant, and as is Kay's birthday, at don't forget 12. to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> because it is ten, we have two hours until Kay's birthday, so we're gonna go to a bar and see the birthday in. Because for me, I feel like that's like the most exciting part is to actually see the birthday in. Then on the other side, you get the ah. secret menu, which is a vision of the future. So you have the past and the future of Tokyo and Japan. Wow, look at that piece of bread. That's basically like um, an espresso martini, but kind of not. And I've got like a blueberry thing, but it's not blueberry at all. And this is a champagne cocktail, and this I have no idea. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Good morning, guys. Uh, I apologize again. I mean, I'm always apologizing in these videos, but I didn't really finish off the vlog last night just because we went to that bar and um, yeah, that was it really. And it's my boyfriend's birthday, or it was last night, today. Um, so yeah, hence why we're drinking champagne at 10 a.m. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to speak about the omakase last night because I couldn't speak because there was like eight other people, no, there was like five other people in there. So there was like only nine people in the whole restaurant. So I couldn't, I felt really awkward to like video and speak. I'm not gonna lie, like it just felt so awkward. And they, every time my camera would go like beep, the chefs would like look at me and I just felt so awkward. Honestly, it was such a, not strange experience, it was a good experience, but when I first got in there, like my anxiety levels just went up so much, I don't know why. And then, like the first thing that came, I dipped my sushi in the sauce, the dipping sauce, which I thought was like soy sauce, and he went crazy, like he was like, no, no, like, he doesn't speak English, so like he was like shouting at me, and I was like, oh my god. Um, but then later they like really warmed to us and they were like asking loads of questions and stuff like it was he wasn't mean or anything but oh my god at the start i was like really freaked out and every time i would eat a piece of like sushi or eat a dish he would be like okay 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 like he was watching me and me only eating my food and i was thinking is this actually going to carry on for the whole few hours but to be honest it didn't last that long like it lasted for an hour and a half like the whole set menu thing which i was kind of expecting for it to last maybe less than an hour and a half maybe like one hour i was expecting for it to last like two hours and to have like 30 dishes but we had like 10 dishes which were all absolutely delicious but i don't know i was just expecting a bit more especially as i knew the price and i was yeah i think i was just expecting a bit more but yeah it was such an amazing experience i think we chose quite well but yeah it was fun it was very interesting i mean also i don't love fish although i'm japanese i don't really love fish that much so like I feel like if it was meat dishes I would have like thought they were all delicious but like because I didn't I 
couldn't really tell you what was good and what was not. But yeah, it was a really good experience and I'm so glad that we did it. Then we went to the gold bar, which was really nice, a bit vibey, kind of vibey on Japanese vibes. Um, I feel like here it's hard to find like a festive restaurant, which is what we're used to in Dubai, but it was really nice. It was really, really pretty. So that is the end of my Tokyo vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a bit chaotic, literally as usual, chaos. Um, I feel like the weather made it difficult to like properly film. Uh, but as you can see today, the sun is shining. Like the weather is beautiful, lovely spring weather. So I'm going to get some more content for you guys because I have a very, very exciting day lined up. Um, so be sure to watch the next video. And thank you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye!